Hi, Pastor David here with today's verse of the day from Mark chapter 10, verses 21 and 22. Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack, he said, go sell everything you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At this, the man's face fell. He went away sad because he had great wealth. So what is it about money that is so gripping? One person who could help us with that is this rich young man that Jesus met. Now, on the one hand, his money didn't lead him to do what money often leads people to do, and that's stay away from Jesus entirely. He ran to Jesus. But when Jesus forced him to choose between the eternal wealth that he would provide and his earthly wealth, well, obviously the sticker shock for having Jesus was too high. So what is it about money? Well, it's that money isn't God, but it is God-like. Money can make our lives in this world better. It can elevate our status. It can give us a measure of security and joy. Money, if you think about it, can even buy you forgiveness. Because just think, if you buy the wrong pair of shoes with enough money, you can erase that sin by buying another. The sad sight of this rich young man going away from Jesus sad moved Jesus to speak one of his most well-known maxims. He said, It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. Today, Jesus makes sure that we thread the eye of the needle. Just as he did for this rich young man, Jesus does for us. He looks at us and he loves us. And he reminds us, even in this story, that even though he was richer than our wildest dreams, he gave up the silver spoon of heaven for the hay of the manger and the wood of the cross to make us unfathomably rich. Knowing that, thread the eye of the needle. Grip Jesus. Be rich with your money. Be generous, loving, and responsible with it. Let's pray. Dearest Jesus, I am your greatest treasure. May you be mine forever. Amen.